Hey Sunshine Nation, welcome to Jack's Million Productions. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I love seeing your comments and I also, if you have any questions, I'll do my very best to answer them. And I actually have a few questions from the last video. And the first one was from LMA Hastings and it says, I have not long became a Christian and I'm already struggling to keep up with the Bible reading. How do you do it? Now that's a great question because that's been a struggle for me too at sometimes and sometimes I wake up and I say well I'll read it after I eat breakfast or I'll read after I go to school I'll read when I come home but I never end up doing it because I always forget and at the end of the day I always think oh man I forgot to read what I've started doing is I read first thing when I wake up because if I read first thing when I wake up then I'll never forget to do it even if you just read for five minutes or just read for just read a few verses, it makes a big difference because as you go throughout your day and you start your day off right, then you'll feel better about your day. So the next question is from Sardiva Mario. It says, my question is, has that changed you into liking cleaning? <laughs> Great question. I like cleaning, but I don't like deep cleaning like that. So it motivates me to keep my room clean. And so, yeah, I like, I like to have things clean but I don't want to have to go through all that again. So just I just want to keep it clean in the first place. The next question is from Ava K. And it says, How would you tell someone who wants to learn about Jesus Christ and Christianity to teach themselves? What would be the first step? Now the first step to teaching yourself and to learning more about Christ would be to pray. That's always what I've done is whenever I have a question or I want to learn something is I'll pray to God. Because we definitely need God's advice on everything we do, especially if it's Christianity, then praying would be an amazing first step. And there's no right way to praying. All you have to do is just talk to God. Talk to Him like He's your friend and ask Him your questions. And when He answers you, it probably won't be like a big, this is your answer. But it'll be, He'll answer your question and help you, help guide you on what to study. And if you go to the scriptures and you ask him, would this scripture be good to read today? Would it be good if I read this book today? Then he'll give you a feeling if it's right or not. And something I've noticed is that he'll communicate with you the way that you understand how to communicate best. And another question is from CM. And it says, what are the necessary steps that need to be taken for me to also become a missionary? This is a really great question. Because to be a missionary, it doesn't require you to have to have a badge on or to be actually on a mission. Because we're all on a mission of life here. And one of the great steps of being a missionary is if you share the light of Christ with your friends and with others and you let your light shine, that itself is being a missionary. Now I used to go to Bible study and we wake up at 5.30 and we drive all the way to our church. And I usually drove because... I was usually the most awake, so I would drive all my siblings there, and they would all sleep in the back. And it's a safe drive, nobody else is driving. Now one day, we were driving on the highway, however, there was so much traffic, and all of a sudden, everyone stopped abruptly out of nowhere. And a diesel moved in front of me, and put on his brakes. I almost crashed into the back of him, but luckily, I turned my wheel just in time to where I barely missed him and I went into the grass. My brother woke up and he was really angry. He was like, why'd you wake me up? I was taking a nap. He was like, what are you doing in the grass? This is terrible driving. I said, Tyson, I just saved your life. He was like, wait, what's going on? He said, we almost crashed just now. If I would not have gone to the grass, we all would have been dead. He said, oh, okay. And then he was grateful that I was awake. He was like, well, that's a good thing you were awake. And he was grateful that I went to the grass. You know, a very important lesson I learned from that experience was sometimes God is our driver. And when we're going throughout life, we're, we sometimes sleep throughout life. And we just kind of forget what, what's going on and that God is leading us. And so sometimes God has to turn us away from danger and so whenever he turns us away and we wake up from our spiritual nap, we're angry, we're like, wait, why are we here? Why are we in the grass? 
why is this happening to me? And then God smiles at us and says, if we weren't in this situation, if we weren't in the grass, you would be dead. I just saved your life. I think that's interesting because how many times in our life do we think, what in the world is happening to us? All the time God would just smile at us and say, I only did this because I wanted to help you out. You're angry right now because I woke you up. You're angry right now because you didn't get to do what you wanted to do. You didn't get to make the football team. You didn't get to go to the school that you wanted to go. But he'll tell you, I turned you away from this for a reason. And maybe he's saving your life. Maybe he's turning you into a better direction and helping you, you become more successful. I have a scripture about this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, and it says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. So we have to trust in God to turn us in the right direction. Because Tyson didn't see why I was in the grass. But once I told him exactly what happened, he was grateful that he was in the grass. So whenever God turns us in a different direction in our lives, we'll be angry at first, but then he'll tell us, Oh, that's why you had me go this way instead of to the place I wanted to go. And then we're grateful to him that we're in that place. And so if you always remember to have to trust in God and to trust in Jesus, then you'll be more grateful for the things that happen to you. Remember this always. And always remember to spread sunshine.